Bon dia, bon dia a tothom. Good morning, everyone. Mr. Hoffman, Minister, Catalan Minister, authorities. Welcome to you all once more. And this is a very special day for us because this is the second time that we are celebrating this. And usually the second time you're aiming at doing it better than the first time. But then that's a good challenge because the first time was quite unique, quite good. So hopefully today we'll be contributing with information, know-how, expertise that's meaningful to you and that's also helpful in your day-to-day. -day. I see many people, still many people coming in. So there are still some free seats for you. You have Wi-Fi access, you have a Twitter hashtag. So please use these, use this information, send your questions on to us, your comments. Today's session will be divided in two sections. First, some keynote presentations by experts, and then we will have the Mobile Learning Awards ceremony. And our being held for the fourth time this year. We started in 2012-13 and with an increasing number of participants. And precisely amongst the shortlisted in these awards, they will be telling us about their experiences throughout the day. So I think it's good for you to see that those experiences and to send your feedback through Twitter on things that we can interact with them. We will be using this in our expert panel. And without further ado, I'd like to give the floor to Mr. John Hoffman to make a brief introduction. Mr. Hoffman, thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to welcome you to the second edition of the M School's Changing Education Together seminar hosted by the Mobile World Capital here at Mobile World Congress 2016. The GSMA is very, very proud to be a participant in the M Schools program, an initiative, an idea, an execution by the Mobile World Capital Barcelona in a very strong and fruitful partnership with the Generalitat and the City Hall of Barcelona. This year, the Mobile World Congress hosts the education community with three M Schools events. You saw in this video our very first M Schools EDU Hack co creation workshop, an unbelievable program with frontline educators that took place this past weekend. Here today, our second edition of Changing Education Together with this esteemed group of dignitaries educators, and policymakers. And then later today, our Mobile Learning Awards, our fourth time we get together to recognize the best of the best with wonderful programs, outstanding results, and the recognition that they so much deserve. Myself and the GSMA would like to give special thanks to the Department of Education of the General Etat, the participating schools, teachers, and everyone for their hard work in making the M Schools program such a, such a great success. Very special thanks to Minister Monte and Mr. Minister Rees. I also want to say a personal thanks to Minister Regao for her help and support over these past several years on M Schools and the opportunities that we have faced together. Mobile technology is playing an increasingly strong role in education, supporting the digital empowerment of new generations, the digital pioneers. Mobile allows access to up-to-date materials, improves collaboration, teamwork, and strengthens the learner engagement. It gives us new ways of teaching and learning to improve that leads to better employment, stronger skill sets, and a better future. Basically, electronics makes stuff fun. Whether it be gaming, playing, surfing, 
Whenever kids have electronics, it isn't learning. They don't see it as learning. They see it as having fun. My nine-year-old, his best way of learning is not the traditional, look at a book, read it, write it down. If I give him an iPhone, an iPad, a Google phone, an Android, a Samsung, it doesn't matter. He has fun while he's learning. This Changing Education Together seminar represents a unique opportunity to expand our knowledge base, discuss the role of mobile and education, and talk about future good practices. Working together, we are making great progress amongst the education community, supporting mobile technologies in and out of the classroom. So really, the future is in your hands. Our children, your children, my children, the future leaders of the world, here and around the world. It's your responsibility, our joint responsibility, and it's a huge opportunity. I know you're up to the challenge, and you will continue to do great things. And if you'll allow me an opportunity to talk some specific about the M Schools program. This year, the App Education course has had over 18,000 students from Catalan High School and vocational training programs participating. With over 500 schools, over 600 teachers and educators, and more than 300 industry expert mentors to help the students and the teachers in the app education course. Our M Schools community tells us that a third of all of the students that are being touched by this program are now considering a career in the tech industry after participating in M Schools app education course. Almost 90% of the teachers that are involved in the program recommend M Schools as a way of teaching. And the kids themselves say that 75% of them are happy with the M Schools way of teaching. These are very, very strong results. May I suggest they're not quite good enough? I personally challenge all of you, all of your colleagues, everyone throughout the education community to help us do even better. As I tell my team, if it was easy, everyone would do it. Well, they don't because it isn't. You're doing groundbreaking things. You are changing the world. I know that you will accept and excel by beating my challenge. Because let's change the rules, let's change the tools, and we'll change the future. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, John. Don't pass a... Thank you, John. I'll now give the floor to the Minister Neusmente from the Presidency of the Generalitat. Good morning. Director of M Schools, ICT Secretary, authorities, ladies and gentlemen. Inspiration uh, words for your emotional words. We are here today in an, another special day with the impulse of the government of Catalonia and the leadership of the mobile work capital, we have created a meeting place for education community and technology community, 
business and technology development, we have placed human development of our students, so for our future. So, with the clear leadership of the mobile capital, together with the Catalan government, we are finding a way for the education and the technological worlds to move together, placing the human development at the core of our students, hence of our future. This is an initiative that we have held for the second year, and we are proud of it. And ICTs are making many of our students looking into this as an opportunity for a career. Digital cohesion requires a society where citizens understand, use, but also take advantage of the ICT tools. And we know that schools are a major element in capacity building for the future citizenship. But other than just being able to consume this, they should be able to produce content and solutions in this area. The experiences for the use of educational technologies in here in Catalonia, but also in other European countries, show that the introduction of ICTs uh, help into the classroom to better identify the learning processes, but also to better identify the skills for every student which are being motivated by this. In our society, we need to be able to show to our students better prospects for the future, and we know that ICTs industry requires much more professionals than the ones that are stemming from our universities or vocational schools. And therefore, these type of sessions and workshops help us being more aware on this need. An industry where precisely the unemployment rate is well below the, un the average unemployment rate in Catalonia. Hopefully, this would encourage you to follow along this path and to take advantage of this public leadership, but also the know-how held by the educational community. Mr. Hoffman precisely was saying that today we will be awarding the best among the best. And I'd like to draw on his words to precisely thank Mr. Hoffman and thank the Mobile World Congress for once more supporting this initiative, but also to value and to acknowledge the task of our teachers, both in and out of the classroom, their expertise, and to congratulate all participants of this edition and specifically all shortlisted. We want to continue doing great things. We will keep on improving, and we want to do so together, just like we've been doing until now. Thank you.